Okay, Mercedes vacuum pump motor. This is done on a CLK 320. Um, basically the same on other Mercedes. Um, unfortunately, this car is partly apart, so I can't really... There's a couple pieces I'm going to be missing here. Um, along this back, in the trunk, on the driver's side, beside the gas cap. This trim piece here, there's there's little square. Sorry about the sunlight. Plastic plugs. They just pop up. Use a little screwdriver, see little two notches in the side, use a screwdriver to pry it up and then pop the pop it out. And then you're gonna pop out the trim pins on the uh, inner fender paneling. And we're gonna pull that out. It just basically pulls out, so I'm gonna pull that out and get back to you in two seconds. I'm gonna pull the whole thing. Okay, so the trunk lining's pulled away. I didn't yank it all the way out. I didn't feel like pulling all the tabs out. I can just bend it back far enough to get to this because it's not tough. You don't really need tools to get this out. It's just held in place kind of by this sponge rubber damper that holds it in this little bracket. Okay, so there's going to be a bunch of electrical connectors on here. So see these ones you push down on the tab in the center and pull back on the arm and release them. There's two more. I think there's two more on the bottom. So let's pull away. And now wiggle these vacuum lines out. See this little oops, see this little prong here? You can kind of push back against that and pull the you can usually just pull them out though. And these are the lines going to your seat backs. Uh, in the back seat, the headrests, the vacuum upgrade headrest, door locks, and um, yeah, gas cap release. This one's being a little bit of a bugger. Hold on a second. Sorry for the camera work. It's a little difficult to get in here. Ah, oh, crap. I need a little screwdriver. One. Okay, just using a tiny screwdriver between the little um, holdy tab, the little tab in the, the vacuum line. There we go. Now, let me make sure this doesn't fall. And there should be two more. There we go. Two more electrical connections on the back. I'm just going to pop those off. Hopefully one-handed. And there is the vacuum control unit. And thank you for.